drive an Aspen and a uh, King Autopilot, maybe even an Aztec? Have you had trouble with the Autopilot? With the Aspen, especially the Max? Stick with us on Flyware, we're going to take a look at that today. Hi, I'm Scott Purdue, and today on Flywire we're going to take a look at uh, a test flight. You're going to come along with me on a test flight for the Bonanza. We just, we've been having lots of problems with our Aspen since we did the MAX upgrade. And uh, the uh, first thing it did was, uh, well, the right one ended up where it wouldn't even boot at all. The MFD wouldn't boot at all. The left one would cycle, like get two or three, sometimes four times a flight where it would uh, just reset itself and reboot and start working again. And uh, Matt and Aspen, to their credit, replaced them. So that's a good thing. But uh, um, so with the replacements, the MFD. The MFD stopped, it was working no problems, didn't have any problem with it at all. But the PFD, uh, on the other hand, um, every now and again would do the reboot thing but even more weird was uh, it would give weird spurious uh, inputs to the autopilot man i'd get 25 30 degrees of bank and about 10 degrees pitch up and then it roll hard the other way i've got a little bit of video you're going to see and uh, so how to figure that out well talking to the aspen dealer uh turns out another guy was having almost exactly the same problem he had a slightly different setup but uh, he still had a King, I have a KFC 200 autopilot in the Aspen Maxes, and uh, there's a the guy taking off. We're on traffic light Bonanza back taxi 417 Borland. So, uh, Burberry traffic, 7 here, 959 Yankee, 2300. When he got to digging into it, uh, he found, for a right thing, uh, he noticed on the setup page, the one where it gives you basically a screen dump of what's going on on all the registers. Uh, he found that uh, the, uh, the Ethernet link was cycling off and on, off and on, and it should be solid. And what happens with Aspen, in order for you to translate Aspen into digital, into King Autopilot, um, you have to have a box. It's called an EA100. It's made by Aspen, and Aspen uh, Connects the those two those the Aspen and the EA100 with an Ethernet cable, so you have basically four lines, two going out, two coming in. So there's they're talking back and forth all the time. And uh, this guy had an Ethernet cable that uh, didn't meet spec. And Aspen's pretty specific about their spec, and I guess they sell their own cable when guys don't want to use it because it's expensive. And what it is is the two the two pairs. Each one is shielded, and then the overall cable is shielded. But the ones, and I'll show you a picture, the ones that uh, were installed uh, were not. Just the overall cable was shielded, but the two wires, the two pairs were not shielded. And what that did was uh, it caused crosstalk between them. So um, the other, other fellow, he had a Mooney, and uh, they replaced the cable, and it did great. So the airplane did fine and uh, solved the problem. And this is the first test flight. You're coming along with me on the first test flight of the new cable. And it was a pain to run because my EA-100 is in the back of the airplane. <laughs> James. So it was a pain in the butt. So, about five minutes out in the RV. But the old Aspen 100 or 1000, PFD Pro 1000, uh, it didn't do that. I guess it wasn't sensitive to the crosstalk. Uh, but the Max definitely is. And although I've heard, I think I've heard one guy having a problem with uh, with his, uh, he has a King uh, 150. So anyway, we're going to go for a test flight. And the oil pressure and temperature is good, so we can do ourselves a run. All right, here we go. Final is clear. Looks like we're all in the green. These are both of the original uh, Maxes, EFD and MFD Pro Maxes, 
and you can see the right one the MFD tried to boot and then it goes off check look at on the right side the lights are blinking on the basils the push buttons on the right side the left boots up okay the right one ends up stop working here we go the right one's not working at all the left boots up and watch this it's going to start a boot and it's going to redo it uh, very frustrating this had happened three or four times uh, in flight and uh, just just for you can't fly IFR that way you can fly VFR but it's still kind of uh, maddening uh, to have it happen you can't fly with the autopilot etc so it's a bit a uh, bit crazy but uh, so far um, so far it seems like Aspen is supporting us but uh, it was uh, Mike Ferrer the uh, uh, Aspen dealer here in North Texas, uh, North Texas Avionics had actually figured out the problem. Here it comes up, and then here we can see the right side uh, is working solid, uh, not having a problem. The left side is booting up again, and uh, it's Mike that found out, uh, figured out uh, about that cable issue, and you saw what it looked like—a picture of the two different cables. Um, and the the problem really manifested itself is uh, this would happen after some weird autopilot inputs. The, uh, the PFD would uh, reboot itself after some real weird autopilot inputs, and that's what we're fixing to see right now. And watch this uh, as we go to this uh, shaky film, sorry. Watch, it's going to pitch up to 10 degrees, the autopilot is. I'm not doing anything, and then it's going to roll left very rapidly to almost 30 degrees, and then immediately reverse that roll to right roll almost 30 degrees. Crazy. All right, we have the autopilot selected. Are so good. Usually it wouldn't last this long, so I'm thinking that's a pretty good thing. So let's do a 90 degree turn. Actually, I think I think it's here more than 90 degrees. Well, I think that's a pretty good test. 
It seems like the autopilot's working. Pretty bumpy day, so it's moving us around quite a bit. And it's pretty well handling the altitude. Not perfect, but it's uh, pretty much standard for a KFC 200. And I'm not getting any of these weird, wild, wacky uh, inputs. And uh, to the autopilot, and uh, PFD is not rebooting. So I think that we have solved that problem. If you're having the same problem, um, where the autopilot's doing some weird things, and doing some pitch and roll that you didn't command or you shouldn't be doing, uh, you have an aspen, then it's very likely that it's your Ethernet cable between the uh, aspen and whatever box you might have. I think Garmin might be the same situation if you're having crosstalk. Um, you know, it's a, uh, again, what, 43E for the GFC or, or TNS 500 or whatever it is, the 500 and 600. So, check it out and uh, hopefully you can solve the problem without too much hassle. I've been pulling my hair out for about two and a half months on this and it just turned out to be a cable. Crazy. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time on Flyware.